open the first session uh, on uh, case presentation on abdomen. The speakers will take six minutes to represent the talk and two minutes allowed after for discussion. Now the first speaker, Dr. Dua Amara from Alexandria in Egypt. The title of her talk is Magnetic Resonance Imaging Split Scar Sign After Neuroadjuvant Chemotherapy um, in Rectal Cancer Correlation with Endoscopic Fight. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, uh, dear professors and colleagues, uh, it's my uh, honor today uh, to participate in uh, International Congress of Radiology, uh, presenting my work titled uh, Magnetic Resonance Imaging Split Scar Sign After uh, New Adjuvant uh, Chemo Radiation in Rectal Cancer Patients, Correlation with Endoscopic Findings. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer thus worldwide, and despite screening programs, there is high rate of local recurrence. New adjuvant chemo and radiotherapy followed by total mesorectal excision is the second, uh, is a standard treatment for locally advanced rectal cancer patients uh, with down uh, size and down staging of uh, tumor with uh, sphincter reservation. Recent advances in uh, MRI with high resolution uh, sequences help in diagnosis and the staging of rectal cancer and uh, assess response to treatment functionally and morphologically. Development of non-invasive response evaluation model could help to identify patients with good response who benefit from local resection and those with pathological complete response uh, who benefit from non-surgical watch and wait strategy. Total mesorectal uh, excision uh, increasing the uh, five-year survival rate, decreased uh, local recurrence rate, however, it has high morbidity, up to one-fourth of patients. Although radical surgery uh, remains a standard treatment according to the guidelines, uh, in the last two decades, uh, uh, non-surgical uh, uh, watch and wait uh, strategy has been increased for patients with good response to new adjuvant therapy. So the goal of the uh, watch and wait approach is to identify patients with clinical complete response after new adjuvant therapy uh, and then enter them in uh, strict follow-up protocol. How to assess clinical complete response? By digital rectal examination, MRI, and endoscopy. And once there is uh, tumor tissues, uh, we have to surgery uh, rapidly. Still, there is controversial about the use of uh, non-surgical uh, strategy for oncological outcome and patient survival. Uh, what is the split scar sign? Split scar sign is presence of a T2 hypo-intense signal in the innermost and the outermost layers of the rectum. This diagram nicely demonstrating the uh, positive split scar sign with the corresponding MRI images. Negative split scar sign, presence of focal interruption of T2 hypo-intensity or presence of a tumor signal within fibrosis. How to assess the uh, response of patient uh, to new adjuvant therapy in uh, cases of incomplete or uh, poor response? Uh, there is a reduction of uh, tumor volume in sagittal T2 by less than 70%. In axial T2, uh, there is tumor regression grade from 3 to 5, and in diffusion, there is area of diffusion restriction. In cases with near complete response, uh, there is reduction in volume, uh, but not uh, established. In axial T2, tumor regression grade uh, 2 to 3 with precise diffusion restriction. In complete response, there is reduction in volume from 70 to 90 percent. In axial T2, there is a split scar sign and the tumor regression grade 1, and there is no precise diffusion restriction. The aim of this study was to assess the correlation between pathological complete response and complete clinical response in rectal adenocarcinoma patients presenting with split scar sign in restaging uh, and reassessment MRI after new adjuvant uh, therapy. 
uh, all patients were subjected to digital rectal examination and regarding radiological, radiological examination, MRI with high resolution uh, T2 before and after uh, new adjuvant therapy to assess response uh, to uh, therapy and the presence of split scar sum. The current study included uh, 40 patients, uh, 20 cases with positive split scar sign, and 20 control uh, with uh, uh, negative split scar sign. The most common pathology was moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma, and the mean ADC value among cases was 0.84 and uh, control 0.86. There is agreement with high sensitivity, specificity, and accuracy for split scar sign and residual tumor. As in uh, split scar sign negative patients, uh, out of 20, only five cases uh, were free. And uh, among positive split scar sign, three cases showed residual tumor. Also, there is agreement uh, between tumor recurrence and split scar sign. As in positive split scar sign cases, uh, there is no recurrence. Uh, these are uh, examples of uh, split scar sign with pa uh, pathological complete response. Uh, three different patients uh, uh, with uh, axial, in axial T2. There is a T2 hypointense signal of the innermost and outermost layers of the uh, rectal wall. And these are cases of negative split scar sign. Here there is a, a focal interruption of the outermost T2 hypointensity, discontinuity of T2 hypointensity, and in last case there is a, a signal of uh, tumor tissues within fibrosis. So in conclusion, uh, split scar sign using MRI is a good predictive rectal cancer response to new adjuvant therapy, and consequently uh, watch and wait programs that is now increased all over the world. And we recommend uh, further studies uh, with larger number of patients uh, to confirm our results. Thank you. Any question for uh, Dr. Dua? I want to ask you one question. You make correlation between uh, MRI picture and endoscopy. And uh, I thought that you we have to be in this scale for differentiation. Which is more accurate, this one or this one? هي طبعا عشان الاستاذ احنا عاملينها لسه على عدد قليل بس كل الحالات ديت كانت كونفيرمت بالاندوسكوبي وبالباثولوجي بوست اوبريتيف وكانت بتبقى يعني مثلا اه سوري Uh, most of the cases, uh, according to endoscopic findings, uh, showed the, uh, either splis, uh, positive split scar sign was free, and with negative split scar sign uh, was uh, sh or showed the tumor residual. But uh, uh, according to uh, or at the level of a microscopic level, uh, no gross uh, extra uh, serosal extension uh, of the mass. Uh, and there is a positive uh, correlation between endoscopic findings and MR finding of uh, split scar sign. And we recommend after that, we will go through a split scar sign uh, assessment of the cases for follow-up, not to proceed to surgery. Okay. But you don't, you don't put the uh, endoscopic findings no, as a no, guide? Not to, a sti uh, not no, not still now, no, no. Okay, thank Just, you. Uh, uh, study uh, to confirm the find after confirmation of this study we would proceed for uh, uh, follow-up strategy no surgery for sphincter preservation okay thank you okay thank you the uh, second talk will be the uh, second speaker will be presented by my uh, colleague professor ahmed Al-Azim. thank you uh, rules of cross-sectional imaging ct 